front of the room. That's awesome, guys. What's my music? I'll give up. We'll give them the talk. Woo! I do know the Emmys and I will be talking with Drex in about 45 minutes. Favorites for the Emmys, uh, personally, I love Silicon Valley. I think that Breaking Bad will get its due with the last time that it'll get Emmy nominations. That's my predictions right now and that's probably what I'm going to be telling Drex. What's your favorite thing about doing CKNW? Uh, going up into the 21st floor of this tower and looking over the city as I talk to my buddy Drex is pretty exhilarating. video recording this. No worries. <laughs> Why are you recording this? Because we're utilizing our YouTube. For what reason? <laughs> Blackmail. The 66th Annual Emmy Awards uh, go live to air Monday night. Seth Meyers from uh, Late Night on NBC is going to be the host of it. It's uh, part of the deal with NBC, I would imagine. Oh, we got a new host. It's getting on the TV more. Uh, Steve Stebbing is a uh, podcaster. Uh, you probably know him from the uh, Convicted Cinephiles, LeagueofManChildren.com. You can follow him on Twitter as well, at the Steeple Dead. Hello, good sir. How are you? It's really nice to be back in the building. Um, and, you, you know, it's going to be a regular thing, too, because I start mm -hmm. my new show uh, tomorrow night at 7. It's called Drex Live, and you're going to be a regular contributor, um, and you are going to be our movie and TV guy. Super excited. I can't right. pay you, though. I, uh, you know, I'm gonna, happen. I'm going to pay you in Purdy's chocolates. That works. Is that all right? That Is that going to be okay? I'll put some weight on my hips. And, and you, you have a pretty interesting job. You, you, uh, you work, and I know you can't say which ones, but you work on a number of different uh, local TV productions. Well, don't I, you? I don't mind. I can say I'm working on Backstrom right now. That's the new Rain Wilson show, it is. right? Yes. Uh, how, I, I know you're kind of looking at as a guy that sees it stop and start, stop and start. What do you think? Is it going to be an awesome show when it comes I out? I think it's going to be interesting. Some of the stuff that I'm seeing out of it, which I can't talk about, but... Dennis Haysbert is in it. I know Dennis that Dennis Haysbert's in it, yes. Yeah. Um, who was just in Sin City recently, this past I, weekend. I love when you walk down the streets in Vancouver and you occasionally bump into... You don't really bump into a celebrity, but you just go, Oh, there's Matt Dillon! Yeah. And he, like I saw him, and he was wearing green trousers. Oh, wow, that's unfortunate. I think that was an odd fashion choice, but it's kind of cool. We live in live, we live in one of those amazing cities where a lot of TV and movies are shot here. It's Hollywood. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, uh, yeah, because that's made here. That's unfortunate. But then, you know, let's talk about these Emmys. Uh, always, always a big night for TV. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start with. We're going to go through some of the nominations here. So if you're a bit of a, a bit of a TV nut, uh, you will. Uh, um, uh, you'll love this. Outstanding comedy series. Let's go through the nominees. The Big Bang Theory, Louie, Modern Family, Orange is the New Black, Silicon Valley, and Veep. So it, here's what's interesting. This is the second year in a row that you're starting to see a lot of uh, uh, online-only shows get nominated, i.e. Orange is the New Black, a Netflix show. Mm -hmm. I think Silicon Valley is also an outstanding show that HBO has got. It's definitely like the low-end darling that people are really liking. It's got great dialogue and well, basically, the show is very built on dialogue. Mike Judge is just brilliant at writing for these characters. Uh, lead actors from Nelson, B.C., by the way. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then T.J. Miller, who is an amazing comic. Uh, so, uh, outstanding drama series. Who, who's get, uh, sorry, comedy series. Who's get, probably going to win this? Um, I, you know, I'd be fine if anybody but Big Bang Theory won because yeah, well, I'm sick of it. it, it 
It's the most watched comedy show on television. It is, and now they're commanding massive paychecks. It's called Friends Money. Yes, exactly. It's Nothing wrong with that. Man, if you can, if you can neg negotiate a million dollars an episode, I'm down for cash. Well, fair, but uh, Friends got that in their final season. The uh, Big Bang Theory is still slated to go another three seasons Oof. at this money, so... I don't know. Do I don't people know how watch it? Do you watch it? Does it watch it in your house? I still watch it, yeah. I mean, oh, you actually watch it? Yeah. you don't want them to win the Emmys? No, I just think it's become long in the tooth, and let's get some fresh blood. Let's get Orange is the New Black to get an Emmy. So you think So you think Big Bang Theory's going to win it? Uh, there's a possibility. What's your prediction? My prediction um, is going to be Modern Family or Louie. I'm going to say uh, Orange is the New Black. Okay, that's, that's a solid choice. Uh, a great show, by the way. If oh, you haven't watched really it, good. Netflix it. Um, it's weird, I was in Australia for a couple of weeks visiting months on cable TV over there. Because really? they, they don't have Netflix in Australia. And they don't have censored, like, censorship ship like we do, right? Oh, uh, well, no, they don't. No, you can say anything you want on, uh, you can say anything you want on Australian television. Uh, outstanding drama series, Breaking Bad, Downton Abbey, Game of Thrones, House of Cards, Mad Men, True Detective, Breaking Bad, just getting uh, by the skin mm -hmm. of his teeth with its uh, last season. Mm -hmm. uh, is it going to walk away with uh, with one more Emmy, or is it going to be True Detective? This is the last chance for uh, Breaking Bad to nab that Emmy Emmy again. Um, I think Vince Gilligan might walk away with a, another Emmy. That's he's he's, wor he's working on the Better Call Saul show as well. When's that? That's slated for next year. Uh, yeah, they pushed it a year, so they've released that little what it was like a thirty second teaser. It's just uh, Bob Odenkirk talking to the camera. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I say that uh, the. I would love to see House of Cards to take it, take a, the best uh, drama. Once again, a fantastic uh, Netflix show. Mm -hmm. And it's a phenomenon. It's quite a phenomenon. True Detective, same thing. But I would really like to see one of the internet shows take a, take an award. Uh, we're seeing a lot of TV shows now. You know, True Detective is a good example, uh, along with American Horror Story, where. Uh, some people are trying to reinvent the way we watch television. Obviously, mm -hmm. you've got Netflix, they're making shows specifically for uh, the internet audience, the, the, the audience that wants it right now. They want all of it right now. So when they release one episode, they release all of the episodes. Uh, we see uh, TV stations like HBO uh, come up with interesting things like uh, the American Horror Story way of, like when Ryan Murphy came up with that for FX, mm -hmm. it was, okay, here's... Here's a basic outline of what we want to do as a TV show, but the plot and the characters change each season, but retain some of the original actors. Yeah, uh, it's and it's still lumped into the miniseries category. Like even in nominations, you're going to see Coven in that category. True Detective actually made the drama category. Uh, and speaking of uh, outstanding miniseries, we'll get to that next. But I, I, my pick for uh, the Emmy on uh, best outstanding drama has got to be True Detective. Yeah, I mean, it's a solid, solid show, and it, it's anything that has that um, that huge status where everybody's talking about it is generally going to get most of the spotlight. And quite literally, everybody talked about True Detective. It was mm -hmm. only eight episodes, but ever, like even walking around this building, people were like, oh my god, did you watch last night's episode? It's incredible. Yeah. Are, you, are you watching this show? And it is one of those incredible shows that you could just watch over and over. And nobody's talking about Game of Thrones in this category. That it actually has a nomination for best series, but no one's like giving it any buzz that's going to yeah, pick up an award. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, it's a great show, but I don't know if it's up to the the, the caliber that the uh, the judge is going to look at. Is things. it a little bit cheaper than the other show? I, I, I'm surprised no one's mentioned Downton Abbey. That's uh, that's addictive television. It's, by the way. it's solid every year. Have you do you, oh, have yeah. you been watching it? Yeah, definitely. See, I don't I don't picture you as a Downton Abbey type of guy, but see, you are. You know what? There is a lot of fans of Downton Abbey that you would not peg them for that. Do, do you guys watch Downton Abbey in there? Anyone here anyone watch Downton Abbey? No. No. <laughs> Gabe doesn't watch it. Grace doesn't watch it. Well, what's your what's your uh, what's your big show that you like to watch on TV? Uh, I've got a few going on right now. It's hard. To see. Have you got a favorite? But I'm Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the Killing, yeah. Good Va good Vancouver Man show. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's tough. There's, there's so many, it's hard to keep Yeah, you're, you're right. There is so many. That's mm -hmm. why our cable cha cable TV services have like 170 I, I know channels. I it's not a huge one, but I just started watching uh, um, Hannibal again. It's a good series. Oh, is it, is it good? It's a good series, I just yeah. started. I just started watching Botched on Munch. Much music. <laughs> Have you seen Botch? Greatest no. TV show ever. So it's got. Uh, it's I got. You're watching Print My Ride. Or something. Uh, no, that was ten years. Got a love exhibit. <laughs> uh, Botch. Uh, Botch. Botch is hilarious. I'll tell you the premise. So it's got. Uh, it's got the ex-husband of the chick that owns the Palms in Las Vegas. Right. You know, there's the a plastic surgery. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Totally. Yeah. And they they fix bad plastic surgery jobs. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. it's such a great I show. Like the, uh, was it me? What's the what's the tattoo one where they fixed Botch? 
Fox tattoo job. Yeah, I, 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 premise, I watched the done. I watched the tattoo version of that show last night. Yeah, where you come and like, oh, <laughs> yeah, look at my ugly face. Can you fix it? Like the, the amount of bad plastic surgery seen on that show is just like Los Angeles. Yeah, you just, is just, you just go, why? <laughs> what made you think that would be better? Oh, easy. Uh, the nine hundred two one zero zip code. Yeah, that's how it works. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's move on to outstanding miniseries: American Horror Story, Coven, Bonnie and Clyde, Fargo, Luther, uh, Treme, which is weird because it seems like a series. The White Queen. Um, uh, what are you looking at here? I, I loved Coven, by the way. I'm gonna say Coven's probably the most interesting one in that category. That's gonna appeal to a broader audience. Yeah. So that might take it. My personal favorite is Luther. Idris Elba. Play, it just brings so much to this series. Um, it's. I think this is the third or fourth series. For and this it. is an English show as well, isn't it? Yeah, they're only like three or four episodes long each seri- each series. Yeah. Um, it what is, is, what is it about? Um, basically, he's investigating like serial killer um, sub, uh, suspects, but he's has the potential to be that kind of crazy as himself. Really? Like he's teetering on the edge constantly. So it could be him. Uh, not quite to that to that way, but he is teetering on the brink of a mental breakdown at all moments oh, in this fun. series. It's that great. Seems... Idris Elba owns it. He yeah. does? Oh, all right, we're going to sure. take a quick break here. More with Steve Stebbing when we come back. Uh, we're going to get through uh, comedy actors, uh, comedy series, mini-series, wow. made-for-TV movies, <laughs> massive list for the Emmys. Stay there. We'll be back next to KNW News Talk 980. Did you film that whole thing? Are you still filming? Can you take a break for a second? Jesus. Just keep yelling at me. <laughs> this one's for my personal collection. <laughs> Just on a loop, Drex yelling. Ah! CKNW News Talk Down Andy Drex in for Sean Leslie. It is the World Today weekend. There is. Did you see lots of uh, Rough Riders jerseys downstairs? Lots. I didn't even know what's what going, going on. on. Green is the new orange, apparently, according <laughs> to that billboard. We'll talk about that after four. That's uh, made some people furious. Uh, you got the uh, Rough Riders in town up against the uh, BC Lions this afternoon. You've got kickoff around 5 p.m. from BC Place. And uh, yeah, uh, interesting that uh, every time you buy a hot dog this afternoon at BC Place, a, uh, a, 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 a an animal abuser will be making money from it. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. Mm-hmm. That's what's going on here. Uh, Steve Stabbing is my guest this afternoon. He is a uh, just a movie nerd. Just anything to do with entertainment movies, anything. Like, this guy's all over it like a fat kid on cake. Mm-hmm. Um, you can follow him on Twitter, at the Uh You can also go to his website, leagueofmanchildren.com, and listen to his fantastic uh, range of podcasts, including The Convicted Cinephiles. When you're talking about the Emmys, uh, let's get back to it. Outstanding lead actor in a comedy series, Louis C.K., Don Cheadle, Ricky Gervais, Matt LeBlanc, uh, William H. Macy, Jim Parsons. Uh, William H. Macy for Shameless is incredible. So good, we'll not see a, a statue. Why is that? I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe it's the subject matter of Shameless. It, you know what? Is it, it, for those of you that haven't seen Shameless, it's based on uh, the ITV British series of the exact same name. Mm-hmm. Uh, the characters are identical. The names are identical. The premise is just different, it, and it's set in uh, Chicago. He plays, William H. Macy plays a, a horrific alcoholic. Mm-hmm. And just an all-around dirtbag. Like Who the is, worst person. T- like, is the worst father possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's weird how they... You, you still love his character. Yeah. Uh, because he plays a... just a, a, He plays a lovable guy. But you're just like, this guy is a, just a nut. Well, it's also Bill Macy's made a career of playing lovable people or people that you want to root for. So. Um, we've seen uh, Louis' show on FX uh, go a little bit deeper and darker with its sort mm-hmm. of uh, script this past season. Uh, is it possible that he could walk away with a uh, with an Emmy for this? Well, that's he's my choice of who to give it to this year would be Louis C.K. Just I mean, he took a year off, he took a hiatus, took some time for himself, and came back with probably one of the strongest years in his show that he's done. Yeah, um, I would love to see him walk away with an Emmy. Um, the only other person that could upset that is Jim Parsons because he they're always giving him mm-hmm. Emmys. Like he yeah. should probably melt him down into one by now. Uh, he was in uh, he was in the Normal Heart on HBO as well. Yes, uh, that right. was a fantastic made for TV movie. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen that? It, it's like hard to watch uh, because of the subject matter, but uh, well worth looking at. Yes. Uh, let's talk about uh, lead actress in a comedy series. Uh, Lena Dunham uh, for Girls, Edie Falco for Nurse Jackie, Lou, uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus for Veep, Melissa McCarthy for uh, Mike and Molly, Amy Poll for Parks and Rec, and Taylor Schilling for uh, Orange Is the New Black. Mm-hmm. Who's uh, going to win this? I'm going to say it's between Melissa McCarthy and uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus. 
It says usual. on my list here, and this is from uh, Michael Hogan, who is a writer with. Uh, is it, I can't remember who's writer. He, he says that uh, Amy Poehler uh, will win, but Taylor Schilling from Orange Is New Black should win. Uh, those are uh, yeah. Amy Poehler and Taylor Schilling are both in my I want them to win category. Mm. Um, is she doing ads for Old Navy now that I saw Amy Poehler? Yeah, what is that Amy Sedaris? No, no, she does the <laughs> she does the little seedy things. Who, which one? Okay. Uh, Amy Poehler does Old Navy, and Amy Sedaris does the uh, oh, downy sheets. Uh, does the yeah the little downy uh, yeah. uh, 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 popper. It's uh, uh, weird. Her brother's <laughs> a fantastic writer, by the way. If you, ever, if you ever want to read a funny book, get a David Sedaris book. Oh, for sure. Um, so, you, so who do you think is going to walk away with Best Actress? Uh, it's going to be between Melissa McCarthy and Julia Louis Dreyfus. Probably uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus again. Funny show, Veep is. Veep is a very funny show. Um, it's. It's very highbrow, very critically loved. Um, yeah, I think it could it could walk away with all the awards that's nominated for it. Uh, outstanding lead actor in a drama series: Brian Cranston, Jeff Daniels. Uh, Brian Cranston, obviously for Breaking Bad; Jeff Daniels for the Newsroom; John Hamm for Mad Men; Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey uh, for uh, Hit Me with It Again; uh, True, uh, True Detective. Detective, and uh, Kevin Spacey for uh, House of Cards. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Spacey. I'm gonna say Cranston. One last year. That final, you think? that final half of that uh, yeah. Breaking Bad season. Oh yeah, I see, yeah. I, I see you trying to throw them. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I'd love Kevin Spacey to get it, uh, and I'd really love Matthew McConaughey to get it because I think it's like the renaissance of his career was the last two years. The renaissance. Oh yeah, he's 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 moved above being uh, Wooderson from uh, Days to Confuse into it's, this new it, level of his career. The the fact that he lost so much weight for Dallas Buyers Club. Mm -hmm. And then after he finished rapping that, he played uh, the younger version of himself on True Detective while he was still kind of skinny and, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, yeah, 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 the, 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 the younger version of himself. And then once he kind of put a little bit of the weight back on, he played the older version of himself. So it looked great on television. Yeah, definitely. And then in between that, he did his little quick scene for Wolf of Wall Street. You know, I still haven't seen that movie. Oh, watch it. Is it great? Yeah, you know, it's so good. It's excessive. It's it's, it's on DVD now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wow. So yeah. it's it's it's. Did you say it's excessive? It's extremely excessive. You almost forget that it's a true story many times in the movie. But uh, well, Jordan uh, Belfort, uh, Jordan Belfort, the guy it's based on, was on Simi Sarah show, and he said absolutely everything you see in the movie is pretty much factual, <laughs> which is amazing. It should that should push everybody to see that if you haven't. Uh, outstanding lead actress in a drama series: Lizzie Kaplan, Claire Danes, Michelle Dockery, uh, Juliana Margie Lees, Kerry Washington, and Robin Wright. Uh, Lizzie Kaplan, what was she in? Uh, Lizzie Kaplan, she uh, she did a really cool show um, on Stars called Party Down with Adam Scott. Oh right, and, and what's she been nominated for then? That's uh, Masters of Sex, which is actually in its second season right now, and it's a pretty critical success. It's her and Michael Sheen. Um, Claire Danes for Homeland. I, I cannot watch it. Uh, I cannot watch it for the same fact that I can't watch uh, Silver Linings Playbook because the, the manic insanity is too much for me to handle because I think I may possibly be uh, manically insane myself. Which uh, should push how good she is in that role, that she can play this mental instability so well. It, and it's it's painful to it watch. Is. It is. Uh, the guy that plays her dad died just recently. Yeah, uh, James Reborn, which so, we've talked about in a few. So how, he was in, he was, there's a fantastic <laughs> documentary on Netflix, if you get a chance to see it, called The Guy That Was In That Thing, <laughs> uh, which is about these, uh, like, not, not, a, not so much B actors, not, and but definitely not A grade actors, but mm. Like guys that are constantly working in television and movies, but you're like, oh, that guy. Oh, that's that guy. Yeah. That was in that thing. And that's, I imagine, why they called it that. Um, <laughs> Michelle Dockery, she's from uh, uh, Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Uh, Juliana Margulies, uh, The Good Wife, and Kerry Washington for Scandal. Why does everyone love Scandal so much? Uh, it's uh, Chandra Rhymes. And, uh, Chandra Rhymes writes a good, she writes a good, compelling show uh, right. that's not. That in a hospital, like she's been doing with Grey's Anatomy for ten. Plus I'm gonna years. say Claire Danes for this. I'm gonna say either Claire Danes or Kerry Washington. Robin Wright though for House of Cuts. I'd love to see it happen, but she's uh, yeah, it's just too under the radar. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Come back. We've got two more categories to go through. Steve Stebbing is our guest. It is CKNW News Talk 980. More on the Emmys next. CKNW News Talk 980 is direct covering for Sean Leslie this weekend. is the World Today weekend. We're talking Emmys. Monday night, uh, this is going to be huge. 66th Annual Emmy Awards. Steve Stepping is here discussing it with us, uh, talking about the uh, nominations. Uh, he is from uh, LeagueOfManChildren.com. You can follow him on Twitter, too, at the Steeple Dead. Outstanding lead actor in the miniseries uh, as we wrap this up, Benedict Cumberbatch. 
uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Idris Elba, Martin Freeman, Mark Ruffalo, and Billy Bob Thornton. I'm going to say Mark Ruffalo for uh, the normal one. I'm going to agree with you there. I would like to. S- I would love to see anyone from Sherlock take an award. I'd love to see four th- English people nominated in this category. By the way, which shows how strong that their miniseries game is. Yes. Right? Uh, yeah. So who's who's going to walk away with it? Uh, Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. I'd like to see Idris Elba or a- anyone from Sherlock to take it. But I, th- there's a, I I should have uh, got it ready for this show. But there's a fantastic interview uh, with an American female journalist. She's interviewing uh, uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and references the fact that he's a black man. It says, oh, so you're African-American. He goes, no, I'm actually English. <laughs> yeah, but you're African-American. And he's like, no. Because she couldn't fathom the fact that uh, because he was a black man that he's not African-American. <laughs> the fact that he, uh, his family originally may have been from Africa, but he lives in the UK. Her brain couldn't comprehend it. It's the, I'll see if I can find it. It's very funny. Um, outstanding lead actress in a miniseries, Helena Bonham Carter, mini driver, Jessica Lange, Sarah Paulson, uh, Cicely Tyson, Kristen Wiig. Uh, Kristen Wiig was nominated for... Spoils of Babylon. Which is the worst television show I've ever seen. <laughs> it is, it, 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 and it's along the same lines as Sharknado 2. It's so bad, it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, got that cult status all so, over it. So, uh, Jessica Lang for Coven. She's going to win. I, I think she, pale, like everyone else kind of pales in comparison to Jessica Lange's performance that she brings to any season of American oh, Horror Story. And, she, and it's incredible. And she keeps mm-hmm. getting better and better. All right, so uh, Emmy's happening Monday night. We're going to have you back on the phone on Monday night just to talk about the uh, uh, the winners and losers. Because yes. there's always going to be losers. Unfortunately. Uh, thank you, Steve Stebbing. Uh, you. you can follow him on Twitter, at the Steve Will Dead. Go to his website, leagueofmanchildren.com, and make sure you listen to all of his uh, amazing podcasts, including The Convicted Cinephiles. All right, we're going to take a break, get some music four o'clock for you uh, then oh this is good the uh, curious case of Casey Kasem I, I heard a great interview with Bill Carroll who's a radio DJ in Toronto uh, talked to Kerry Kasem the daughter of Casey about where her father's body is we'll get that for you plus Carlos Samora who's going to compete in the World Series of Bricklaying that's coming up after four on CKNW News Talk 980 oh god I'm tired oh that was long <laughs> oh, I need a little lay down. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, my knee. This is what happens when anybody talks to me. They have to lay down. Oh, oh, they have to take a rest because it's just so hard. And right cut. <laughs> I was like, where's Drake? <laughs> he left. That's always fun. Always a good time at CKNW. <laughs> You're gonna put your arms up in an elevator, at least, it, and then it's not fun. It's just business like. Then you look like a like, criminal when you get out. This is like the piano. Well, if I exit like this, then yes. It's weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna continue. This is weird. Alright, so there's another CKNW spot. For the League of Man Children, I am just people dead. And uh, yeah, Emmys 2014 laid down some predictions. Following up that tomorrow after the Emmys with a little prediction. Let's see if my predictions were right, if Rex's predictions were right, what happened, you know, was there a mosh pit and Seth Myers was at the top of it? Who knows? I don't know. But uh, also going to be on CKNW every Thursday at 9 p.m. talking movies with my buddy Drex, so uh, check that out. And thanks for watching.